All right, folks, this is Category 5 Technology TV. Welcome back. We are going to take a quick look at the Raspberry Pi 3 B+. Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, I've got it right here on the desk. This is it. It arrived today from Canakit, which is ordered from Amazon. You can get these at cat5.tv slash pi, and everything looks just like it normally would with a Raspberry Pi 3. But let's get in. You were saying you love I unboxings. I love unboxings. Why do you love unboxing so much? Why does everyone love unboxing so much? Oh, this is taped on. Okay. Okay. Come on. So we've got heat sinks came on the outside of the package. So Canakit has included a heat sink for the CPU and the GoPro. And there is the box. It's like the world's tiniest computer, folks. You can use this as a home theater PC. I'm gonna brutalize this box. Normally I'm, I open them nice and cleanly so that I can put them on display, but no, not this time, folks. I'm too excited, too excited. There it is. There is the Raspberry Pi 3 Model B Plus. So we just paused to fix the audio. The processor has better heat dissipation, which means uh, we're going to be able to overclock this, get a little more speed, even though it is clocked already at 1.4. We're going to be able to potentially overclock this board. The Raspberry Pi 3 was uh, a little disappointing in that regard. Uh, now, it's also got improved Wi-Fi. The Wi-Fi has been, uh, has been in improved exponentially. It's now BGNAC, and it's uh, 2.4 gigahertz or um, 5 gigahertz, which means we presumably should be able to get better speed off of the Wi-Fi and better connectivity. I'm really hoping that we're going to see less packet loss. Um, if you bought a Raspberry Pi 3 Model B, um, the first Raspberry Pi 3, mm -hmm. you'll notice that it does have some slowness issues on the Wi-Fi and, uh, and so, you know, if you're watching YouTube, you've got to turn down the quality settings and this kind of thing. This fixes that. Yeah. Well, that's the hope. I mean, it's going to be faster and uh, better Wi-Fi, and it's got a better antenna as well. Uh, muchly improved. Ethernet is also improved. It is a gigabit Ethernet is what they boast, but unfortunately, it's connected via the uh, USB 2. And because of that, it, even though it is gigabit Ethernet, it actually is only going to give you about 300 megabits per second, which is... Uh, a, very disappointing, I'll say. But at the same time, even though it's disappointing because they're advertising and marketing it as a gigabit Ethernet, it's still 297% better speeds than the Raspberry Pi 3, which is one step down. And this is about the same price. Right. So it's still a lot faster, but it doesn't come anywhere close to the XU4 from Odroid, for example. So... Beyond that, the form factor has not changed whatsoever. Everything looks exactly the same. The processor, as I mentioned, is faster, about 19% faster. The memory is also 20% faster. Um, so we're going to get a pretty good performance boost off of this board altogether. Um, and uh, surprisingly... Uh, and maybe this is because of the better heat dissipation on the CPU, but it is actually going to run about 4% cooler than, oh. um, than a Raspberry Pi 3. Perfect. But it uses more power. Oh. Mm -hmm. And a, quite a bit more, like 38%. Now, these use very little power anyways, but a 38% power usage increase is kind of substantial especially if you've got a bunch of these running. Mm -hmm. So let's compare real quick what these look like. Now, in the bag, there's also a power supply. The B Plus requires 2.5 amp as opposed to 2.4, which is what you want on your Raspberry Pi 3. Uh, so your Raspberry Pi 3 power supply uh, may not work with the Raspberry Pi 3 B Plus because it's 0.1 amps too low. Now, I'm just ripping apart my case here. I do like these cases because they're easy to pull apart. Mm -hmm. Easy to get the pie out. Let's see. I, I say that. I say it's easy. <laughs> and then the struggle. There we go. And then the struggle. There we go. So there's the Pi 3 and the Pi 3 B+, okay. model B+. So they're pretty much identical as far as form factor goes. Uh, they really are. I mean, they mm -hmm. are identical that way. Um, and the B+, so here's the B+. I'll put this right back in the case that I just took the B out of. 
and should have absolutely no trouble um, putting this in the same case. They're, they're exactly the same as far as... That's perfect. Yeah, so you're not going to have to mess around with that. So there you have it. That's just a quick unboxing and quick look at the Raspberry Pi 3 Model B+. Plus. I am excited about some of you know the speed increase especially mm -hmm. the ram being faster because the ram on the raspberry pi has been notoriously slow ethernet is faster although disappointingly slow for gigabit but uh, we'll see over the course of the next little while as we do some benchmarks how it's actually going to perform in real world environments we shall see mm -hmm. have you got your raspberry pi 3 model b plus comment below let us know how you're digging it so far and how it's running your stuff especially if you've already used things on Raspberry Pi 3. I'd love to know if, uh, if it works better on the Raspberry Pi 3 Plus. Mm -hmm.